back to the vlog you guys i am back in the united states this is the first vlog that you guys will see just like of our normal vlogs that we do around here so today is friday i believe it's like july 19th check yes today is friday july 19th i worked monday through thursday i thought about vlogging those days but to be honest I just had a lot of TikTok content that I wanted to catch up on, so TikTok took a little bit of priority here. But if you're new here and you like this video and you subscribe, maybe YouTube will start taking a little bit more priority. I still do post once a week, but I didn't film my first few days back at work just because it was too much. So anyway, we have our long weekend. I'm so grateful for my long weekend because it has been very difficult to just jump back into work. I did have Sunday off before going back to work Monday through Thursday, and we flew back in from Europe on Saturday night, so that was really nice to have that day, but you guys know it's, it's just always hard to go back to work after being off for a long time. So I have my four day weekend this weekend. I really have very minimal plans. Today I have a nail appointment. I need to make some plans with my friends because it's been a while since I have seen them. So I'm gonna reach out today to them. And on Monday we are starting demolition in this kitchen so this will be the last video that you guys see in this kitchen the last video with these floors i know a lot of people like these floors just personally not my style they will be gone they're gonna be replaced with a nice pretty light wood floor i'm super excited about it but that means that this weekend i have to clear out everything from all the cabinets all the countertops so we'll probably work on that on sunday but not right now. So Friday morning, it's eight o'clock. Just made my matcha, as you guys saw. I'm about to sit outside and do my devotional. I'm thinking I wanna go on a little walk this morning to get exercise because I'm really not able to lift heavy in the gym following my arm. I do have a little arm update for you guys. So if you're not up to date on everything, I highly recommend going and watching my Italy vlog because that's kind of where I explain what happened but i did fall in italy and hurt my arm it was really bruised the bruising has gone down tremendously um but i haven't gotten an x-ray yet that is on my to-do list today i have the order my hypothesis currently with all of the symptoms i'm having is a radial head fracture which those tend to heal really well so i'm thinking that's what it is or a sprain so i'm not super worried about it but this is the update i still do not have full range of motion in my arm, but it's really getting there. I'm working on it every day. I did split my arm at work the last two days because I was waking up in the middle of the night just with so much pain, just aching from typing at work. I am right-handed, so I have been writing at work. So I just wore a split for the last couple of days just to remind me like, hey, use your left hand when you can. And it helped, I didn't wake up last night with any pain. So that was good. I am doing much better on my flexion is really, really much better, but my extension is just not full, but we're getting there. My biggest issue would be like opening caps, like twisting causes a lot of pain in my forearm. I can um, like supinate and pronate, but it does hurt a little bit. So I just have to keep that in the back of my mind, but I'm thinking radial head fracture and the treatment for a radial head fracture is really range of motion exercises. You're really not supposed to splint it. So I'm not gonna splint it on my days off of work. It's just, yeah, it's getting way better. So I'm happy with that, but I, I can't lift weights, unfortunately. So it's been a lot of cardio for me this past week. I'm really, really sad about it because i've been super happy with my muscle growth in the gym and i feel like i like i can't flex my arm past this but i just know i've lost so much muscle mass but it's okay i'm gonna get it back i can't do my yoga classes so i'm a little sad but it's okay it's fine we're gonna heal everything is going to be good so i'm gonna sit outside welcome back to the vlog i'm so happy you guys are here the boys have been so happy that mom is back. Mr. Camper, can you say good morning, honey? My goodness, you're gorgeous. Would you like to go outside? <laughs> okay. 
All right, let's go outside. And Mr. Who's hi, babes. Oh my goodness, they are so, okay. It's too early for all that barking. People are still asleep. I'm about to start working for the day. And by working, I mean light work. I'm just about to edit my YouTube video for, guys, it is so hard being right. <laughs> And injuring your right arm. I, okay. I'm supposed to go to get an x ray today. I don't have an appointment. It's on walk in basis. But I'm like, I just don't feel like it right now. So, I'm like, on. I'm like, it's getting better. Do I need to know? I can just treat it as it is a radial head fracture and just like move on with my life, right? Because that's what my medical, all of my medical background tells me that it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm just making a little iced lemon water to take with me. I tried to get the dogs to play outside, but it's really hot now. So they are literally just like stalking me, which they always do. I always have a dog stalking me. It's my current, it's like always my life. And I feel bad because it's too hot outside to do anything. So I try to do like um like those fun little like brain games for them like i'll give them those like in the middle of the day but it's literally only 10 30 right now maybe i'll just take them outside for a second sometimes they like to like smell around in the front yard but they won't go for a walk by themselves with just me like it has to be both seth and i i'm about an hour and a half into editing my Switzerland vlog, but I'm hungry. It's like 12.30. So for lunch today, I'm just eating this leftover salad. It's a fatouche salad. I could be saying that wrong, but I feel like I'm saying it right. I don't know. But it has lettuce, some red cabbage, some green cabbage. We put chickpeas in it. Um, I offer some tofu to put in it as well. It has like a whole thing of dill in it. There's some avocado, I think, like leftover in here cucumbers or they're like cucumbers and yeah it's a really good hearty salad we always make like a little pita bread to go on the side with it just kind of bulk it up a little bit and i love the salad and the dressing that i make is just olive oil balsamic vinaigrette um a little bit of oregano salt pepper and some um spicy honey it's this is like one of my favorite meals, honestly. Quickly became one of my favorite meals. All right, update. I got my nails done. I really like them. I don't know if you guys can see, but they have a nice little glitter on them. They're my natural nails. She shaped them and then she put the poly gel on there. It's just one coat. And then it goes under the LED lights, just like a regular gel. Um, but she did a really good job at shaping them. She cut like all of my dead skin around. She pushed my cuticles back. She, she just did a good job. It was expensive. Don't get me wrong. It was very expensive. It was $95, not including tip. So I don't know. Like, I'm not sure if that, I'm not sure if that is the price that you have to pay for a good manicure these days, but I think that's really expensive. And then I went to get my x-ray, you guys, and the x-ray machine is down. So I just made a TikTok about this. I feel like I'm just done. I'm not going to get an x-ray. They were like, you can come back on Monday. And I was like, sure, yeah, no problem. Come Monday, I might change my mind. But I just feel like this is a radial head. I'm pointing here. This is not my radial head. I feel like this is a radial head fracture. All of my symptoms point to that. I just feel like getting an x-ray at this point is just kind of confirmation where I don't feel like I need that confirmation. I can just treat it like that. Um, so yeah, I just stopped by Publix because I needed to pick up some stuff. I wanted to make crunch wrap supreme tonight. That just sounds so good to me. And I... I'm in desperate need of a snack. So I picked up this Ithaca salsa. Crap, I got medium. I thought I got mild. You guys, my acid reflux is so bad <laughs> when I eat like spicy food or really bubbly stuff. Like I made a Topo Chico drink last night. I was up until midnight sitting up straight in bed because of my acid reflux. Mmm. 
Okay. That's really good salsa. Yum. I saw Rachel Ottenry talk about this salsa and how fresh it was. I was like, I was in Publix today. I don't have any salsa at home. I was like, oh, let me try. Mmm. That is really good. This is the salsa. I am um, impressed. It tastes like they just made it and bottled it up. Now, technically, could I make something like this at home? Mm-hmm. Will I? Mm-mm. Good. Look at this stunning crunch wrap. I'm just gonna cut it, but it looks so good. Summer thunderstorm right now. Mm. One of my dogs, Camper, is really scared of thunder, poor baby. Look at that gorgeousness, guys. Oh my God, this is exactly what I wanted tonight. All right, you guys, we're gonna make a spicy margarita using Poppy's ginger lime, but I'm gonna film it for TikTok. So you guys are gonna see it, it's just gonna be like, I'm, ta I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. But you guys are the same people, you know what I mean? I also apologize for the lighting, I just have my ring light on right now, so it's a little bright. So we're gonna make a spicy mocktail margarita. No margarita is complete without a tahini rim. So I'm using a little bit of lime to coat the rim. And then we're gonna put some tahini on it. This is the best part of a mocktail cocktail. On the bottom, I'm gonna put a few jalapenos. I just diced a few of them and then I'm gonna mold them together. I want this to be like a little spicy, but not too spicy. I'm gonna put a little lime juice in the bottom too, just to help me mull it up. I have a lime tree in my backyard right now that is just absolutely thriving. Like I have so many limes. And then for the mocktail tonight, we're gonna use Poppy's ginger lime mocktail. This recipe is inspired by a girl that I follow on Instagram. Her name is Caroline, I believe, but I'll tag her below. Gorgeous. Can have you can never have too much lime in my opinion so i'm also just gonna add a little bit to the top throw a lime on it you're kidding me how cute look how cute this is i have to take a picture good morning you guys it is saturday morning i made myself a strawberry matcha latte which I filmed the recipe for TikTok, so what I'll do is I'll just insert the clip here. It's very good, but it's not something I would make every day just because it's pretty high sugar content compared to what I normally make my matcha with, which is, which is just like either a little bit of honey or this vanilla bourbon, um, sorry, vanilla bean paste, or sometimes like uh, this past week I made like a little blueberry syrup to go in it, but. Yeah, I just used a little bit of that, whereas you use typically like a lot of the strawberry compote, if that's even what it's called. But anyway, super good. A nice Saturday morning treat. It is almost 9.30. I need to go sit outside with my dogs. Poor babies, like the summer is like the most terrible months here for them because they're, it's so hot outside. They don't want to do anything, but they do, they do want to do stuff, but they 
can't because it's so hot outside so i feel bad but we're going to brunch this morning at willis with one of my friends and i really want to go to anthropology today to get some more of these cups i always get questions where i get these cups from on tiktok and i get them from anthropology they do like a new set every season i feel like or come out with a new one and right now they have these bow ones that are super cute they come in like red pink and black and i think i want to get the red bows or maybe the pink bows i don't know but they're so cute so i think we'll go there i don't really know what else the day will bring i'd love to get like a tan lay out in my little pool and get a tan so pretty uneventful day today but should be just nice and relaxing and i'm excited to see my friend and catch up i think i'm actually going to go on a little walk it's kind of late to go on a walk but you guys not being able to exercise like i usually exercise or like do my yoga classes on the weekend it's really throwing me out mentally like i don't know like i've only been able to basically walk and run or do some type of like a cardio for the past week since i've been home from europe which is fine like i just I, I don't do cardio like this and I don't know what else to do because um, like whenever, okay, so whenever I have something like kind of heavy, not, not traditionally heavy, but like my phone, like I'll do like bicep curls with my phone because with radial head fractures, really you just need to work on range of motion and like that's pretty good range of motion. But say that I get something heavier like this, it's like much more pain, but it's good. But I don't know, I can't like go to the gym and typically like do what I would normally do right now, but I'm getting there. So anyway, I think for like the next week or so, I'm probably still gonna be stuck on some cardio stuff. I think this next week I'm gonna try incorporating like lightweight workouts my dog's about to drink out of the toilet so pause for one second <laughs> they i feel so bad for them they are so lost in the summer with what to do because it's so freaking hot outside and we're just like now in the thick of it like july is what really starts the hot season for us here like june is hot don't get me wrong but it's not as hot like it's 90 degrees outside and it's 10 o'clock in the morning and we have turf in our backyard so they can go like on some of it but it gets too hot but believe me we've had other grass before and they completely destroyed it and brought dirt and sand into our house so anyway i'm rambling i'm about to put a bunch of sunscreen on and go for like a little walk just to get movement in because how i started this conversation is I like movement and exercise is really a part of my lifestyle so not being able to do that is really like kind of throwing me off mentally like I couldn't go to my yoga classes like I normally go to this week I'm so sorry they are slapping up the water from the toilet right now guys can you get any louder please baby drink So it's gonna find like a good podcast and take a little walk. I'm thinking I will probably try to take a yoga class next weekend and just kind of do what I can. But I don't even think I can do shavasana. <laughs> Not shavasana. Um, I don't even think I can do like a vinyasa flow because I I don't know if I can hold up my weight on my arms. I don't know it's getting better though like every day it's getting better so i'm getting i'm really excited just to like get back into my flow like my exercise routine because i have also i was out of my exercise routine for 10 days and then this week has like added onto it anyway okay i'm rambling we're gonna go on a walk i'm gonna put a load of laundry in before i go and then when we get back i'm gonna like shower make myself some breakfast and um start cleaning out my kitchen actually because all of my kitchen products have to go somewhere okay all ready to go on a i have to say wa okay because my dogs will think that they are going on one with me and then i will get them all ready to go you guys 
and then they will go one house down and be like no we want to go home we don't like it out here so they're not coming because i'm going on a quick one but let me move you guys a little bit over here i wanted to show you guys my set this is from lululemon i actually had it for i want to say i've had it for like about six months now and at my gym has this stupid rule where you like aren't supposed to show your midriff so i don't wear it that much because i don't like i just like i think the set looks really cute together and i don't have a good top to go with it to like cover my stomach and then i don't wear it to yoga because i always wear yoga pants to yoga i've worn this to yoga once and it's fine but i like to like i don't like to wear long pants like this because i'm i go to hot yoga and i'm sweating a lot but anyway you guys don't care anyway <laughs> this is the set i'm wearing we're gonna take a fast paced wa okay this is the outfit for brunch i went back and forth between a lot of outfits but this place is casual you could definitely go more dressed up than i am like a summer sundress i just you guys i wore so many sundresses in europe i'm sundressed out i need a break i need a second to wear shorts not that it really makes a big difference for me but i don't know i just feel like i wanted a casual vibe i'm wearing my modern girl shoes that i wore all over europe these shorts are from a goldie and top is from abercrombie these sunglasses are from amazon i have them linked in my amazon shop I always get questions about them but they're really sturdy for like amazon sunglasses and i feel like they're like 15 bucks so highly recommend let's go girls dun, 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 dun. am i getting monetized that was so good just got out of barnes and nobles i have a nook that my um husband got me um several years ago but right now it's not working like it's acting up and i don't know why like i've downloaded two books and paid for them and it says like not downloading so i need to figure that out i just haven't yet because i paid for those books but i have been wanting to read i've been in like a reading era i feel like i have rejuvenated my reading era so i got three books from barnes and nobles um i got practical magic which i am feeling in the full spirit i actually ran to anthropology after i finished brunch with my friend i'll show you guys what i got and try it on with you because i haven't even tried it on I just didn't feel like trying it on but they had some like pumpkin stuff out and i was like oh, it's just a little too soon like the end of july but I love it, but I can't get into it right now because we're so far away from fall here in Florida that it will make me sad to like start doing pumpkin things. But anyway, I thought this would be fun for like probably like the end of August, beginning of September months. And then I'm going to read the first housemaid book I read. I think one of the books in the series, they don't like go off of each other but i think it's the same idea in each of them so i liked her writing so i'm gonna do that and then i saw that this book was coming out as a movie and this was one of the books that i tried to download on my nook um the perfect couple so i want to read the book before the movie comes out because i've heard the book is very good and i really like ellen hildebrand's stuff she's a little wordy for me if i'm being completely honest because she uses a lot of words to describe the place that the people are in how they're feeling which is great if you're into that stuff sometimes i just kind of like where are the talking parts of the book like what are we saying <laughs> but that's just like a personal thing so i'm just gonna head home now I had a great brunch with my friend we we're there for literally like two hours just chatting we always have a lot to chat about so that was fun and now i'm gonna head home it's almost four o'clock so i need to go home and spend some time with my dogs this morning we're making a strawberry matcha. I made the strawberry like compote yesterday and then yesterday after I made it, I just drained out the compote and just left the syrup. So we're just gonna use that today because I, I don't like leftover mushy strawberries. <laughs> this matcha kit, which is basically this whisk and this bowl I got on Amazon several months ago and it's what I use every day it has worked really well for me and I use about a teaspoon of matcha I know I was watching a video yesterday somebody was saying they use like three to four tablespoons I was like oh that's a lot <laughs> I add a little bit of hot water I don't measure it but I would say it's probably about a fourth of a cup I like to whisk it a lot I think the key to like really good matcha is 
is really nice and whisked, whisked matcha. And I'll show you guys what I like the consistency, consistency to be like afterwards. Consistency that I like it to be at. I've been going back and forth on trying a bunch of different milks in my matcha. So I've tried cashew milk, I've tried coconut milk, I've tried almond milk, oat milk, and out of all of them, cashew milk is my favorite. It's creamy, but it's not like super thick, like, and it doesn't flavor it to the point where you lose the matcha. I think a lot of times, like the coconut milk is really good, don't get me wrong, but it, then it makes it taste like coconut, which is fine if you like that. And I do like that sometimes, but not all the time. All right, this is the strawberry syrup. I'm gonna add, what is this, a tablespoon or a teaspoon? I think this is a teaspoon. Add a couple teaspoons. Three teaspoons in there. Such a pretty pink color. I'm actually gonna mix that up beforehand. Like a strawberry milk. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yum, you could just make literally strawberry milk with that. I have had kids, I would do that. I got these cute cups. I get all of my cups that have like a little something on them, but I got this one from Anthropology yesterday. I'm still gonna show you guys the haul, I promise. I'm gonna pour a matcha on top. Okay, that is the freaking cutest thing. First load of laundry is in. I think I'm actually only gonna have a few loads of laundry which we typically do like three or so but Seth's actually gone this weekend I don't know if I said that he is at a golf tournament so he probably has a bunch of clothes with him that are going to be need to be washed when he gets back tonight but worry about that another time I'm just wearing kind of like a, a hodgepodge outfit these shorts are from Lululemon I think they're like the line probably in navy and then this is from like a Sarah's Day White Fox collection. I don't know which one. You definitely like can't get it, but um, you can get the Lululemon shorts. And I wear these. I'm gonna put some sunglasses on. I have dulled up with um, sunscreen, so don't worry about me sunscreen wise. I'm a freak about sunscreen. You know, working in primary care, I actually just had a patient who um, I saw Molon and I actually referred them to dermatology instead of me because I was like, that's cancer. Um, like you need to see a dermatologist immediately because like I, I can biopsy the first one, but then you'll have to find a dermatologist because that is skin cancer. So it was um, basal cell carcinoma. So it's one of the most important things I learned in nurse practitioner school is how to differentiate between basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and obviously melanoma and then like you're kind of like actinic keratosis which is you are i look like a <laughs> tool right now <laughs> actinic keratosis which is um precancerous versus like seborrheic derma um seborrheic keratosis so and seborrheic dermatitis anyway i could always use a refresher on my dermatology stuff but those are like the most important things i learned so and there's like mnemonics for them. So if you're in nurse practitioner school, look up the mnemonics for like basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and then obviously melanoma is A, B, C, D, E, like asymmetrical border, color, diameter, evolving, that type of thing. But anyway, <laughs> quick little side chat. I'm going to go for a walk. Oh, I want to wear my um, Apple Watch because I like to track my heart rate during workouts any type of workout, but especially a walk, like I'm not going on a leisure walk, like my heart rate's gonna be in the 120s to the 140s because that's like when I'm getting in like cardiovascular work. So let me go grab that. Another tip that I have for you is obviously when you're walking outside, you wanna be aware of your surroundings. So I do wear my AirPod Maxes, but I take off the noise canceling so I can hear everything, but I can also hear my podcast. And I'm listening to Dateline because I am a 45 year old woman and a 27 year old spotty <laughs> oh my god you guys it is so hot oh i just walked maybe shoot i just i think it was like a little over two and a half miles but the last like half mile I was like oh my god i have to get back to the house and it's water 
All right, you guys, for the most part, the kitchen is all cleaned out. I still have a few things left on this table that I need to get rid of, but the counters are all clean. I'm gonna make my matcha in the morning, so I'm gonna leave this here. Cabinets are completely cleaned out. Bottom drawers cleaned out. And then they're also, they're redoing the floor in here, so I don't know how they're gonna get around this. That's not my problem. <laughs> Um, I cleaned out this because they will have to move this area and then that will just put outside But it took me a long time. I'm just gonna move the toaster tomorrow morning and then move the dishes tomorrow morning, too But it's all cleaned and ready yeah, Like seriously, I'm just having one of those days today where I'm like <laughs> Not feeling myself. I don't know if you guys ever have those days where you're like I'm fat and ugly <laughs> I'm just having one of those days today. I just got like the munchies. I can't stop eating. <laughs> to be completely honest, I just like am snacking constantly and that's what happens. This color is like a terrible color for me. It washes me out completely. So I think like seeing myself on the camera too. Um, but anyway, I just threw this on. I'm gonna finally do this anthropology haul that I talked to you guys about that I have been talking to you guys about. Except we're gonna do it this way because this is the best lighting. So I got this shirt. I already know I'm gonna have to take it back because it's too big. Something about like anthro sizes too. Like I don't know about you guys, but I just think they're really off. Like I got this shirt in an extra small and it is way too big. I thought it was just like a cute shirt to throw on with a pair of like jean shorts this summer. I need to try this shirt on. This is from Reformation. I really like this color shirt, but the part that I liked the best is that the back is completely open. So I thought this would also be really cute for like with jean shorts or even with my like white flowy skirts or then going into fall wearing it with pants would be super cute. And then this is what I'm most excited about. I feel like all the girlies have these and I just have not found them and I'm not I'm not too much of an online shopper. Sometimes I can be, but really only with like anthropology, I'm not anthropology, Abercrombie. So I picked up these pants. I got them in a size extra small. I need to try them on. I guess I could just throw them over this really quick and see if they fit. Oh, it's fine. Okay. I'm not getting good vibes from them. I like this. Like the crotch area is weird. I so just like should have tried these on in, on in store. I was just feeling super lazy. Let me go look at these in my mirror and see if I like them. Okay, I looked at them in the mirror. Like this out pouching right here is so weird. <laughs> like why would they not fix that? Like anyway. I think they're cute, but I don't know how much they were. Probably not. Let's see how much they were. $68. I think I'm gonna send them back. I feel like I could get a better pair. I like the fit of them if it wasn't just this. Like, if they would have just been like this, it'd be fine. Anyway, the top, I really like. The top is super cute ignore the tag in the back but the top is it's from anthropology but the brand is reformation so i don't know i guess this was the only thing that i got that i liked here but i need to shower and like get myself together it's almost 6 p.m so you know it's just, it's a true sunday it's totally fine that is my laundry seth is supposed to be coming home today and he just told me that his flight got push back from 6 30 to 7 20 and it's like the same time where all of these issues are happening with flights so i'm like i hope you're making it home today my love <laughs> anyway i am re-watching pretty little liars too i don't know if you guys know something about me is i love to re-watch a show not start a new show so i never finish all of pretty little liars like i kind of know what happened but i stopped watching it like um, a couple of seasons in. So I'm just watching it now. Dinner is gonna be like a hodgepodge of food. I'm gonna make like a veggie 
ramen, not ramen, a veggie, like Asian pasta. These Monfuki noodles with probably some shaved carrots, green peppers, mushrooms, and a little bit of tofu to make dinner. That like ramen, I don't know what to call it. Noodles, they come with like a little sauce packet. I'm gonna put in the bottom. I did season my green pepper, tofu, and um, mushroom mix with soy sauce, honey, and sesame seed oil. This will just add to it because this is just really for the noodles. And this is the final product. Honestly, I don't know if it looks very good, but it's gonna taste good, I know it. Oh, actually, I was gonna put in some of these shaved carrots in there just at the end. Okay, here is the truly finished product now. So good, so easy, quick, and pretty nutritious.